Okay, hello everybody, this is Brother Kingsley. Today I want to talk about heaven. What do you know about heaven? Do you know that heaven is being prepared for those who love God? Amen. And that is why I'm here to discuss with you today about heaven. You see? The Bible says, what well, the kingdom of God suffer like violence, and the violent men take it by force. So to make heaven, you need to take it by force. You see? So the key point here is this. Let's start with Genesis because it's always started in the beginning. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 that God created heavens and earth. God created what? Heavens and earth. So, if you have a problem to understand this and not to believe it, that's where your problem is, you see? And then, that everything that I'm going to tell you now is not going to make any sense to you because the Bible says what? In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it says what? Faith, you have to believe that God exists. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. And the Bible says, What? Well, faith comes by hearing the word of God. That you hear it coming out from my mouth. You see? The book of Psalm 14 says, What? Well, only a fool says in his heart, There's no God. Because his heart, our word, is full of evil. You see? So heaven is what Jesus Christ has prepared for me and for you. You see, body that you are looking at? The Bible says what is going to perish and God going to give us the imperishable body. It's called heavenly body. You see, when I die, when you die, if you believe in God, you're going to have that body. You see, and that is why I'm here today to discuss what about heaven. Jesus Christ said to his disciples that he is going ahead of them to prepare a place for them. If you were not so, he couldn't have dead them. So that means Jesus Christ, the Bible tells me that Jesus Christ, is, is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no way no one can make it into the kingdom of God except through him. So whatever he's telling me and you that is in the Bible, it is true. You see? How can we so foolish to accept the word of word of man? You go to school, you read all these things, you believe everything, and then you study, you pass it, son. And then when it comes to the word of God, you refuse to accept the word of God. If you refuse to accept the word of God, you cannot make it into the kingdom of God. Is it a breaking news to you? Yes, because you refuse to accept. You see? We can make it into the kingdom of God because we believe in Jesus Christ. That he died for us and because he shed his blood, we believe that through that his blood, we have cleansed of one. The which is our sins. Our sins have been forgiven. And then we'll make it into the kingdom of God. You see? Jesus Christ said what? The kingdom of God, the road, the street is what? It's God painted. You see? He said, He's going ahead to prepare for me and for you mansions. If you were not so, he couldn't have said so. You see? So I believe the word of God. And that is the key point here, is believing, you see. So I'm looking forward to that to that day. Because the book of Hebrew 11 10 says that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all these people, they were looking forward to the city. And the building and the foundation, the builder and the designer is God. Can you imagine living a house God built? Not, not like as the house we am living now that you are living. You see? You know when you travel, I travel a lot in my life. When you travel a lot, you go to different cities. But this city that God is building for me and you, it is a city like no one has seen before. This city that we are living like London, look at how beautiful it is. But guess what? It's still not to compare to heaven. You see? It's not holy as well. Look at look at look at what's going on in the society. See, the key point here is this: we need to go make it into the kingdom of God because the Bible tells me and you, it's a place where thief, rust can never go and take what you have pre God has prepared for me and for you. You see, also in the kingdom of God is what it's full of diamonds, gold, all these lovely things. I'm reading in the Bible. It is true, and I believe it, and I cannot wait to say it. You see, there's something that Apostle Paul says in the book of First, First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine. He said, "What eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and heart have not perceived, what God has prepared for those that love Him." You see, when you read the Bible, there are some places in the uh, Revelation chapter twenty-one where how God prepared the foundation of the heaven, twelve layers, twelve layers with different colors of rainbows, different colors of diamond, of oxen, of satin, all these different kind of stones, you know. Before you, before, as soon as you see it, your eyes, like your, your hairs in your body will grow up, you see. 
And that is why I'm looking forward to that day. And to make it into the kingdom of God, there's a condition God gave us there. He said what? Only those that love him. So my question to you, do you love God? Because if you do not love God, you cannot make it into the kingdom of God. And how do you love God? The Bible says what? Well, just Christ in the book of John chapter 14, verse 15. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. So if you are not keeping the word of God that you are hearing coming from my mouth, you cannot make it into the kingdom of God. And that is the key point here, you see. So we need to we, we need to observe these things that when we read it in the Bible, the Bible says what? Well, meditate on them, day in and day out. So they don't escape your head, you see. Don't escape your mind, your heart constantly. If you read some places in Psalm, it says Salah. So that means Salah means meditate on the word of God. And I'm here to encourage you today that the Bible says what? If your eyes gonna make you not to make it into the I say plug one of your eyes out. If your hand is not gonna make you not to reach into the I say cut it off. So the key point here is not removing your eyes literally or removing your hand cut off your eyes. He say what? Stop looking at those things that you are looking. Stop touching the things that you shouldn't be touching so that you can make it what? Into the kingdom of God. And that is the key point here. And that is why I'm here today to do what? To encourage you to make it into the kingdom of God. You see? Because the alternative is hellfire, you see? And heaven is real, you see? There's levels of heaven. We know that, okay? You've got three heavens. You've got the blue sky that you are looking at. You've got the outer space. That's second heaven. Then you've got the toy heaven where God lives. And on that toy heaven, there's what? There's layers, you see? There's levels of heaven, you see? When you hear about the 12th heaven, yes, it says it's in, yes. Let me tell you why. It's like when you come to London, you've got people living in mansion. That's a high level, isn't it? Inside of the same London. You've got people living in one room. You've got people living in flat. You've got people living in house. you got people hanging around in the street. The same way heaven is. The work that you do here on this earth. It's gonna determine the level you're gonna be when you get into the kingdom of God. You see, and that is the key point here. And that is why evangelizing, working in the house of Lord, contributing, doing all these things are very, very good for a child of God to do because the Bible says what you are wise, you are winning a soul, and you are building your own what your own mansions. You see, so. We that am that are here now being in my mansion so that I can make it into the kingdom of God. And that is why I'm in this platform. You see? And I'm here to do what? To encourage you to do the same thing. Because everything, every time you invested here in this earth, working for God, it is not in vain. You're gonna gain it. You see? Listen, people, at the end of the day, the bottom line is this. There's no other way into the kingdom of God except through Jesus Christ. You see, his blood has paved a way for me and for you. And if you refuse to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I have nothing else more to tell you. You are going to hell. But you don't want to go there. Because if you're going to go there, it's going to be by your own choice because you refuse to accept the word of God. You see, but if you accept Jesus Christ in your heart as your Lord and personal Savior, he will look after you. He will, he will cleanse you from your sins. You, you, he, will, he will satisfy you. He will make you to be holy, presentable in the face of God the Father. You see? And without the Holy Spirit, we cannot make it into the kingdom of God. And that is why you need to be born again. I need to be born again. You see, as a born again Christian myself, I'm talking right now. The life I used to live before, I can guarantee you one thing. If I don't have the Holy Spirit living in me, I'll go back. The Holy Spirit can what transforms you and change you and make you acceptable in the eyes of God and transform you to the image of God. Amen. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Get this word of wisdom. Heaven is real. So don't believe it. anything that someone is saying. The Bible says what? Heaven is real. It's an Asia city coming down from heaven to earth. And then God is going to join the earth and the heaven together. It's going to be one. There's no sea. You see? For those who like animals, there's more animals. You see? You like to go and swim in the sea. In the heaven, there's no sea. You see? God is going to be the light. You don't need light. You don't need sun. The sun will disappear. The earth will disappear. Everything will disappear. This, this place that I'm looking at, everything will disappear. 
it's not gonna be Jesus Christ as our light. You see? And once we eat that tree of life, we become like God. So that means we live forever. Listen guys, this body is here is gonna be transformed to a heavenly body. It's gonna be a glorified body once Christ comes. And I remain faith. I've been faithful in Christ. This body will transform to holy body. And guess what? I will have a glorified body. And we will be like angel in the eyes of God. There's no man, there's no woman in heaven, there's no agenda in heaven, there's no sex in heaven. Do you understand? Everything that is evil will stay here on this earth. You are not taking it to heaven. See? Our God is a holy God, and as the Bible says, He's holy, you should be also holy. Means you should be set apart. Amen. Amen. Bless in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless. Goodbye.